Hello everybody, you want to see something explode? Then watch this one. Let's just place that there. Let's put that at full. And, uh, uh, it's not going up. Oh, why won't you blow up? You know what, I'm not done with this. I'm not, I'm not done with this. I'm not, I'm not. But today we are going to be building a giant redstone TNT cannon sort of. You, you'll see what I mean by sort Useless, you're useless. Seriously, seriously, seriously. This is, I'm not done with this. I'm not. Okay. Anyway, let's get started right away. So, what you're going to need is, obviously, redstone. And I don't care how much redstone. I mean, you'll need at least, oh, you know what, if you're on creative, just, if you just get like a stack of whatever I choose, you'll need some torches. You will need pistons. You'll obviously need TNTs. You'll need uh, dispensers, sorry. And the last thing you'll need is water and blocks of your choice. Now before you're like, oh yeah, I already know how to build this one. This is a totally different one. That, it's not, this is not easy. And let's get some of that can explode. Let's use bedrock obsidian. Now, first thing you need to do, place bedrock there, bedrock there, and bedrock there. Now, if you just want to like, I don't have time for this, what you can do is you can just go on the launcher, which is down there, and do it. I would not advise so, but technically I guess you could now. We're going to make this go in every direction, so make sure it's kind of like this, a spiral kind of. Now, just place surrounding fields. Once you're done with these surrounding fields, oh, not there, you want to make sure the holes stay. And again, if you're in survival, you can't you obviously can't get bedrock, so just use the same. Now, it should look somewhat like this. Now, place water in each one. And sorry, but del delete those, delete those. And then, place one TNT block right there, okay? Next thing you'll need is a redstone torch there, there. But not over here. Over here, you'll need one redstone, one redstone leading up to the torches, like this. It should look like this, plus that. And then in the center, we want that, not facing upward. Facing inward, yes. Now, don't destroy the TNT doing this, but you'll need to break that block. Now, because we don't want this thing to blow up, like right now, don't destroy the block, just, yeah, because now we're going to fill this thing, you're actually going to need a lot of TNT, we'll just go with that, but you're going to need as much as ASAP, like as much as possible. Then, why we have this in the center, you will see, now this is a one time use thing. That's why it's usable with obsidian bedrock, so you can at, at least don't have to rebuild that stuff. I mean, you don't have to. Now, place it like that. And yes, this isn't shooting, because destroy those. And if you don't actually put those there, it, long story, I try that, doesn't go good. Now, we're gonna put that there. Wait, and put it there. Oh, we missed the timing. And so, yeah, that's what it does. It shoots TNT everywhere and destroys everything. Now, last note. This thing is not easy. It took me a while. And you have to place redstone torches exactly. And you can try doing it. It won't work. Well, it may. If you're doing it on the same platform I am, it won't work. But maybe on computer. I don't, I don't play on a computer. But anyway, thank you for watching. 
And one more thing, you may be like, what am I going to use this for? What is we going to use it for? Shove monsters in there. It's kind of an XP farm, I guess. I don't really need XP farms as I play into this. But anyway, I will see you again later. And oh my gosh, it, why is this? Okay, bye!